a river. I was shaking that ass. I was bending over and I was making that catch. <laughs> I'm doing that video soon. I'm doing that video to, tonight, maybe. Maybe tonight. Because mm -hmm. I like that little song. I was born by the river. I was shaking that ass. I was bending over for it. I was making that catch. <laughs> Anyway, y'all. Hello. Happy Christmas Eve. How are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm actually in a good mood, as you can see. And I deserve to be because yesterday was a shit show. Yesterday was a shit show. Yeah, yesterday was a shit show. But today, I'm feeling good. But today, I'm feeling good. And I'm about to go get some aluminum foil because I went to a Dollar Tree to go get some of these. And they did not have Reynolds aluminum foil so now i gotta go get some or whatever but it ain't even gotta be rentals it's another kind that i came across that i like and it works just as good as Reynolds. it's thick and it's heavy duty so i'm gonna run in beat lots real quick fast and go get that so that's what's going on right now and then you all in my business mind yours i'll let my business worry about who i'm talking to you want to pay a bill? I'm looking for sponsors. So, um, yeah. So, that's what's going on. I'm about to run over there. Then I got to take my kids to their aunt's house. This is the first time I'm never, I'm not going to wake up to my kids on Christmas Day. And uh, it sucks. But it is what it is. So, they have an uh, ugly Christmas sweater party or whatever like that. And, um, yeah, so gonna let them go do that, and then um, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. So I just dropped the girls off with their aunt and. Um, to go home. I might stop by my mama's house because I need to print something out. I need to print something out. Um, so I might run to my mama's house just like real quick and get that out of the way. But like after that, my plan is to go home, start drinking, because, so, I mean, at this point, <laughs> why not? Start drinking. I was going to wait until later um, when D got there. thinking about drinking he put that shit in my head because i was telling him how like i'm gonna be lonely for christmas eve but uh, it's like i told you i, I want to come over there anyway like we can get some wine we can watch some movies we can um do the hookah you know and just chill and so i got to thinking i'm like i might as well get that started now and my grandma gave me a carpet cleaner for Christmas. So I kind of want to see what that right there is like. So turn my music up. Drink a little bit. That sounds like the move, don't it? It really does. Christmas Eve. I ain't used to this lifestyle now. But I called my homegirl because I was closer to her house to see, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I was going to slide by there real quick, but she didn't answer the phone. And I got a feeling just as soon as I get home, as soon as I get home, she going to call me. Like, girl, I'm all the way on a whole other side of town now, two highways away. Hey y'all, so I'm downstairs in my mom's basement. 
And she done set me up for the ultimate look at this. Very much so set me up. Come on, nothing is down here. No. This was the ultimate setup. The ultimate setup. I asked for one big gift bag. No. Count me out. Count me out immediately. I'm going to show y'all what I just had to go through and still didn't get a result. She sent me down here. The, the red thing. Had to move that. Had to move that. Had to move that. And had to move this. Hey, y'all. So, let me tell y'all. Y'all, I have not talked to y'all all day. It's Christmas. And today has been crazy. All right? Like, it's really been crazy. I got up this morning. I made the yams, the ham, and the macaroni and cheese. Then my auntie said she wasn't feeling good. She had the chills girl and so christmas was just canceled and it's my favorite holiday so my poor little heart just could not take it honey and then we went over there we stayed over there for a couple of hours and now i am back home okay so it really has not been anything necessarily exciting going on like i could have made it you know play out better than it did for today but i was just distraught after i found out we was not doing christmas for real because my auntie was not feeling good and christmas this um year was supposed to be at her house and she was just saying this morning that she wasn't feeling good so that just threw me all the way left um i told my family this is the most ghetto christmas we have ever had i don't like it and i don't want us to do this again because what is these like i love being around my family so there you go. But now I'm home. The kids are home and they are about to open their ears. Hey y'all. So it's the day after Christmas. It's the day after Christmas and I'm cleaning up my room and I'm about to start cooking breakfast. Um I'm watching and pull this trash. I'm watching um Peyton Marie Charles or whatever. I'm just trying to catch up on my little YouTube flow because I really have not been in tune with what's been going on with my fellow co-workers, <laughs> if you will. And when I say my fellow co-workers, I'm talking about other people that do YouTube. Mm -hmm. Not like people I work with, for real. But, y'all look at my flowers. So, they bloomed so pretty. My boo bought me these when I was sick. They're so pretty. They bloom so well, especially this one. I think this one is my favorite. And then he also bought me these, which he kind of damaged a little bit because he kind of damaged them a little bit because he was trying to put them in a vase that wasn't big enough. So, but they are so pretty. And I watched this one bloom. This one was all the way closed, and it's bloomed all the way out. And they're just so pretty. I need to put some more water in here. Um, I'm gonna do that today while I'm cleaning up and then I want to do my floors. I got a carpet cleaner and so I want to do my floors today. And I know that's loud, so I'm just gonna talk to y'all a little bit. I am about to attempt to uh, deep clean my carpet. So for Christmas, my nana gave me a carpet cleaner. I've been wanting a carpet cleaner. So I've been in this apartment for three years now, and I've had the carpet steamed, not necessarily clean. There's a difference between steamed and clean. I had it steamed maybe like back in March. Yeah, so this is what it looks like now. My room is a high traffic area. There's a lot that goes on on this floor. Every Honestly, every inch of my house is a high traffic area. There's five of us here. Somebody is always moving about. So, I'm going to try to clean it. Simultaneously, while I am cooking. Yeah. So, that way, by the time I'm done with my room, hopefully the food will be done. So, um, 
Wish me luck, because I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Hmm. Uh, girl. I'ma see. I'ma see. And I'ma show y'all. Okay, so this is before, right? This is before. Yeah. And then I'm also gonna show you guys after. Mind you, if you need a mental note, this carpet is supposed to be gray. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So, we finna see what this carpet cleaner do. Okay. So now you can see the difference, okay? This is what it's been looking like. This is what we got going on right now. And I'm going to get over here more now that I kind of more so got like an idea of what I'm doing and how to work it. Y'all see the difference? That is a big difference, okay? My carpet was clearly disgusting. So I'm so glad that I got this. If you want to know what kind of, uh, which one I got is this. I don't know. No, Dirt Devil. And then it says Sport Magnet Power Brush. Yeah. So this is the one that I got. But I am so good, happy with the results that I'm getting right now. Girl, I'm done cleaning my floor. And I love it. Uh, let's see. Can y'all see the end? Yep. Came out pretty darn good. So. <clears throat> Just got to give it time to dry. So I got my fan on. Which I really keep my fan on all day anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, I got my fan on. I'm about to sit here and I'm about to chill out. So I've been watching uh 20 something. I think it's it's called In Your 20 Somethings or 20 something or something like that. And it's on Netflix. It's a reality show about these boy four boys and four girls that meet up in Austin, Texas. Um and they are just trying to figure out life like the rest of us. But it's really, really good. Or whatever so i'm about to watch some more of that because i was watching it last night y'all i woke up at like two something last night and was just up and i was watching it so now i'm about to go back and get caught up because i know i fell asleep on it and where's my remote oh there yeah because i know i fell asleep on it probably made me a banana split and chill out all right, so I just made me a banana split. Got me bananas, some uh, Neapolitan ice cream. Not so much on that chocolate. I don't really like chocolate ice cream at all. But, and then I got chocolate drizzled on it. And I'm watching my little show. Yeah, because at this point, like, I just got the word. How y'all doing? Tell me. Oh. Hey, you're fine. I'm just saying. You know, you, 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 you. Look, look, she probably got a tip out. 
bitch. I'm done. I can't believe it on my nose. It Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the glass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep anymore. Alright, y'all, so. I just got done dancing for this one guy. And I had to let him know, don't touch my motherfucking pussy. Like, I don't know what. And I can't even blame it on the men because the, the problem is really the women. It's not even, it's not the men because somewhere there's girls that's letting them do this type of shit so they feel that it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not over here, bitch. You're going to get slapped and I'm still going to take my money. <laughs> and my problem be, it's always the... They're really nice. Nigga, you took $50. The audacity for you to even think that that was okay. Like, clown. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, hey, y'all. So, I'm home. Girl, don't fall trying to get the fight and everything that night. Up tonight. Like, for real. <sighs> that messed up. Three girls. Or three groups. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to get this together. Get charged. I'm stuck on this chair. Some dudes about to get the fight, and it happened out of nowhere. When I say it happened out of nowhere, like it literally happened out of nowhere. Like we were confused, like the dancers were confused, like what? But it messed up money because it was the dudes he was about to get into it with, or whatever. I heard they had just got over three thousand ones. And I saw it for myself. They brought it to him on the plate. And then the dude who was starting it, he had just ordered like a thousand ones. And then, and then it was a group in the section. Clearly the group dudes in the section knew some of the other dudes or whatever. So when they were finna get to find like the other dudes in the section who had some little money too, they was walking off like they was finna, you know what I'm saying, be a part of it. And it just messed up so much money. It messed up so much money. Like, girl. Do what? Let me tell you something. Drive your own car. Because they had some girls with them. And it's just like, if I'm a girl, I'm not trying to be in the midst of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. If you're a girl, it, it shit. I advise anybody to drive your own car. Any and everybody to drive your own car. I don't I don't ride with nobody. Whoever wanna ride with me can ride with me. But I'm driving my own car at all times. I don't even play that. But I need to take my hair down. Cause I got a hair appointment. Girl, my hair appointment was at eight o'clock in the morning and it is like three thirty right now. But, um, hold on, let me get a call. But something told me 
to message my hairstylist tonight or whatever. So I messaged her and I was like, because this was a reschedule or whatever. I booked I booked a wrong time that I wasn't going to be available for because the kids were still in school at the time. Because originally I wanted my hair done before Christmas, but um, it didn't work out like that because she was already booked. And I waited to the last minute to book because I was going back and forth with a company um, they wanted me to do a wig, but girl, they wanted me to do a four by four wig, and I hate a four by four wig. If it is not a full lace, don't ask me to do that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'll do bundles because then I can do me a little ponytail. See, and then they asked me to do a ponytail, but then I was like, no, because that means my stylist got to do my ponytail, and it takes away from the engagement with my audience. Like, yeah. And unless y'all gonna pay me to get it done by my stylist, I'm still not doing it. No. So, um, yeah. So something told me to text her or whatever. And I thought it was gonna be something she was gonna read in the morning. Because my appointment was at 8. And y'all know I don't get out till late. And it's it's 3.30 right now. And I was just like, hey, I saw you booked me at 8. You know, you didn't have to, um... As she had like some open availability, you know, throughout the day today or whatever, or in the morning. And so I was like, well, you can just book me. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have booked me for one of those times because eight, that's her earliest appointment. And I'm like, you didn't have to, you don't got to get up there early. If, you know what I'm saying? If you already don't even have a full schedule. And so she was like, uh, the system rebooked it or whatever. She just chose the date and it stuck with that time or whatever. But she was like, um cool you know i see you at 11 so i was like 11 definitely works because i get to get a little bit more sleep because baby i was about to get maybe two hours of sleep maybe two hours of sleep but now i can get like six hours of sleep so i think i'm gonna sit here and take my hair down while my body kind of like winds down because when I come home from work, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes it's hard for me to just like fall into a sleep trance. Like my body has to wind down a little bit. Other times, depending on just how tired I am, my body will go straight to sleep. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna use this time to take my hair down kind of like while my body winds down. And then, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video as always because you didn't have to you could have clicked the one before you could have clicked the one after it but instead you decided to come kick with me and it's greatly greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys in another video Mwah. love y'all